Okay, in this little clip we're going to have a look at the application of Prim's algorithm to find a minimum spanning tree for a given network. Before we do that though, we're just going to spend a moment just to revisit the definition of what is a minimum spanning tree. Okay, so below I've done a very small network and we're just going to use this to illustrate the idea of what is a minimum spanning tree. Now a spanning tree is a tree that takes in every node in the network and by a minimum spanning tree we mean the tree that's of least weight and I can illustrate that very easy if I just draw the tree out so I go along there, there, there and there and that's definitely a spanning tree because the four blue arcs I've put in um, take in every node in the network and we just use the abbreviation MST for minimum spanning tree and that's got a weight of 2 at 4 with 6 and another 6 is 12 so that's a weight of 15 and that actually is the minimum spanning tree for the network. network. Now there are other spanning trees so for example if I do 7, 6, 8, 2 that's a spanning tree, and that's got a weight of 23, but it's not the minimum spanning tree. OK, so how do we apply Prim's algorithm? Well, we start by choosing any node. I'm going to choose node F. I'm interested in the weights of all the arcs from F. So I've got a 3, I've got a 7, I've got a 6, I've got a 6, I've got a 4. So we choose the least. So now node D is in the network. And we're interested in the weights of all the arcs now from F and D. So as before, we've got the 7, we've got a 6, we've got a 6, we've got a 4. And coming from D, we've got a 2, we've got an 8, and also this long one that loops around there is an 8. We choose the least. So we put the 2 in. And now we carry on repeating with all the nodes in the network. Now if I look at E, we've got a 7 there. Now we can never use that 4, so I put a cross next to it, because that will create a cycle, we're looking to create a, a tree. And so what, what weights could we be looking at? We can look at the 7, the 6, the 6, the 7, the 8, and the 8. OK, so we choose the least. I'll choose that 6 there. And we repeat again. So what have I got coming off A? Well, there's a 7, but I can cross that out because that would create a cycle. We've got the 4 there. We've got a 6. We've got a 7. We've got an 8. We've got an 8. I choose the least. So I've added B in, and I think we're almost there now. Now, in terms of coming off B, I just can't choose that 6 because that would create a cycle so what have I got left well I've got the 7 there the 8 and 8 and 8 well that's the least and that's a weight of 7 so that's added that to the network and now that's a spanning tree because I've got um, every node in the network so I can find the weight of the minimum spanning tree so I'm just going to say MST, um, and I just tick them off as I'm doing, is 2, and I've got a 3, and I've got the 6 there, I've got the 4 along the bottom, and I've got the last one that I added in, which was the 7. Now if I just add that up, that's pretty straightforward, 6 and 4 is 10, Add 5 is 15, so that gives me a minimum spanning tree for this network with weight of 22. Just to say, I hope you enjoyed this and found the clip useful. If there's any questions and you want to get in touch, please don't hesitate to drop me an email. And just to say, this was recorded with the Explain Everything app on the iPad. Cheers.